it. What I just did was walk up and throw a bumper into the pile, the back pile, so we'd know where it was. Feel. Dead. Back. He ran to that back pretty strong, so I'm going to go ahead and stop him on a whistle and send him either right or left on uh, on this next one. Thank you. Take your time, get him to heal, make sure he's lined up. Now if you saw him stop there, he looked at that one on the left. If he's favoring one or the other, I'm not going to send him to that one. I'll send him somewhere else. Good strong line on the back. The reason I'm blowing that comeback whistle so as soon as he gets to the pilot, he has a tendency to shot for bumpers. So I just want to pick the first one up he gets to. Heel. Sit. Thank you. Heel. Sit. Heel. Heel. That was another good strong run all the way through to the back pile. I'm going to stop him and send him on another handle. See the, couldn't see the pile, the grass is a little tall. That's something he should not do. He should go all the way through to that pile. He goes over until either he finds a bumper or you stop him with the whistle. Thank you. Sit. Yeah. Have the e collar transmitter in my hand. The only time I use it on this is if he neglects to sit when I blow the whistle. That's the only time I've used it. I don't use it if he, if he takes a wrong handle. That's fine. I'll use attrition to get through that to him. Back. I'm not nicking him when I send him back either. He just barks when he goes. I'm going to stop him and handle him back, either right or left, depending on which way he ends up facing when he stops. Heel. Sit. Heel. Sit. Dead. Dead. Back. <laughs> back. Turn the wrong way. Back. 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 Good boy. Don't let those mishandles go. If you handle him to the right, 
wants to go back, stop him again and handle him to where you want him to be. This is the attrition part. If I think for some reason he's deliberately taking heel, he's deliberately taking a wrong handle, sit, then I will nick him for it. But he's just learning right now. People don't use the voice on over, they just use the hand signal and use the voice with the hand signal on back. Because it has a ten the voice has a tendency to drive the dogs back. So if you want him to angle back and over, a lot of times you'll give that over signal but yell back and that'll it tends to shoot him away from you. the correct way on that back. So I just let him go, let him have it. When I do nick him, we're not sitting, not stopping. I'm only using one, maybe two. Wasn't lined up, didn't like the way he was faced. Reheal it. Dead. Ah! 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 Back on the side of him. That was a good one. He took that handle and he went all the way to the back pile with it. because that was a slow sit. He's not facing me right, so I'm calling in a little bit and stopping. Oh! Got end on a back all the way through to the pile, but I got a lot of bumpers out here and not much tape. If your dog's bugging, Wanting to stop when you don't blow the whistle, send him on several backs all the way to the pile for each handle you give him. So if you want to send him on three backs all the way through and then stop him once and handle him right or left, that's fine. Send him on three more backs, stop him once, handle him right or left. That'll stop him from expecting the whistle every time. <laughs> 